Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Kayla, otherwise known as Let's Get Knit Face, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. And today we are going to be learning how to block. And in this video, like you see here, I block a sweater, but you can really use this technique on any knitted or crocheted garment that you make. All right, so the first step in blocking is to fill a sink or bowl that will fit your garment with cold water. This serves to kind of shock the yarn and prepare it to hold the shape you give it later when you lay it out to dry. So you're gonna wanna place your knitted garment, here I have a sweater that I just finished, in the water completely soaking it, pushing it around and kind of making sure that each piece of yarn has been soaked and then carefully um, wring it out. This is a fairly big sweater. I actually knitted it in pieces, but decided to sew the pieces together um, instead of blocking them separately and then sewing them together. It doesn't really matter the way that you do it. I just wanted to have less steps, so I went um, for it this way, and it just took a little bit more time to wring out. A smaller item, um, it'll obviously be easier, but really make sure that you wring out as much water as possible on your garment so that like whatever you lay it on to block doesn't get soaking wet immediately. I found it was easier to drape the garment over my arm and then wring out either side because the water would just drip down there because of gravity and it helped. And then most people um, block on towels. You can block on some sort of cork board or other things you you'll see people block with using pins and they'll pin down each end I don't really find that to be necessary and I don't really have cork board or those other like rubbery mats I just have towels and it's really easy it works the same way so you're going to want to lay out your garment perfectly flat on this and spend a lot of time carefully you know arranging it stretching it making sure that each stitch is pulled taut because again like I said now that it has been shocked with that cold water you're going to want to make sure that it as it's drying it's drying exactly how you want it to lay on your body and so with that you're going to want to pulse horizontally and vertically making sure that each stitch gets stretched out now is also the perfect time to maybe go back and find a stitch you remember knitting too loosely and go and like pull on the stitches around it just to make sure everything's even and that's pretty much it for blocking. I didn't have any dimensions I was supposed to block to. If you do, definitely make sure that you have a measuring tape handy so you can follow your pattern and make sure that those are matching up as you're blocking. I will say that this sweater was thicker and took overnight to dry and I even changed out some of the towels underneath it, just being careful not to move the sweater too much as I did that and undo the blocking that I did. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. I'll throw my ad up on the screen in case you want to follow my Instagram and see what I'm knitting and crocheting. Um, but yeah, thanks so much. Stay tuned for more videos.